The recent update added a new weekly challenge that unlocks the Jag Mag Lift Kit, which makes the Haymaker full auto. And holy f if you don't have an MGB yet, you gotta use this thing ASAP. Ladies and gents, I thought the Bryzen 890 was the best shotgun. No, the Haymaker is now the best shotgun in the game. Seriously, if you don't have an MGB, go unlock the conversion kit. This thing is insanely broken inside of Warzone, outside of Warzone. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you're gonna be popping off with this thing. So if we look at the pros, you guys can see it's gonna increase the fire rate. It's gonna add more ammo. So now we have 60 rounds of full auto, keep in mind. And it's gonna increase the damage range and we get more recoil control. Overall, making this thing into a super shotgun. But we are gonna reload a little bit slower, but you know, you're never gonna need to reload. And then we are gonna be losing a little bit more of our damage, which honestly didn't impact the weapon whatsoever. Maybe you get like less one shot kills, but this thing is literally full auto to where it doesn't matter whatsoever. One thing, keep in mind, it is a little bit weird. It's like the Core 45 aftermarket part where basically if you hold down the trigger, it's only gonna fire one shot. But if you tap the trigger, it's gonna fire a bunch. Basically, when you pull down the trigger, it's gonna fire. And when you let go of the trigger, it's gonna fire. So if we look right here, fires fires so you want to go like this very fast you just want to trigger finger it and that's how you're going to make it full auto just trigger finger full auto and it is insanely broken you have to use it oh one thing i just want to go over really quickly so if you if you do like the tax stance tax slide and do it, it you have to click a lot of buttons like you gotta run ads and then start tapping the thing but if you do that, it works very well, especially in Warzone, to slide into people and just do that. For me, I just like to run around and hit fire and things, but as you guys can see, that hit fire is pretty wide, and so to minimize that, we are going to be going over to the muzzle, and we're going to be adding a muzzle that I'm going to be using on a lot of my shotguns. This is going to be the uh, the Bryzen Choked. As you guys can see on the left, it's going to increase the shotgun spread, or I guess decrease it by 37%. Yes, we are losing some of our recoil control and ADSP, but that's not going to matter at all, because now our hip fire is going to be in insanely broken as you guys can see that is pretty tight you know it's not super tight because you don't want to be too tight but it's pretty tight by the way if you want everything in modern warfare 3 legitimately then i would check out guapsi they will plan your account to unlock anything you desire and that goes for warzone multiplayer zombies and many other games i have also never seen a single negative review i'll have their link down in the description so now our gun is full auto and we have a pretty tight hip fire but the overall damage range isn't that good i know this increases the damage range but with a shotgun you always want to maximize that one shot kill potential and so we are going to be maxing out that damage range i do have some more builds for this weapon and so i will be making more videos on this gun but for this video we're just going to go over what i think is like the overall best most consistent one when you add this long barrel it's going to increase the effect of damage range to 30 i mean by 34 percent up to 5.1 meters which is honestly very very good for a shotgun so now we get way, way more one shot kills and we are just going to have a full auto but the mobility isn't going to be that good as you guys can see when we are moving around it is a little bit slow and we just want to be in the enemy's face so then we get more one shot kills it really doesn't have that much range so we are going to be adding in the no stock mod and you kind of want to run this on every single haymaker build because when we look at those pros it's going to maximize that sprint to fire speed which is the thing that really impacts a lot of us like if you play with automatic tactical sprint on you know what i'm talking about when you're running around you go to fire or you start firing but then your guy tax sprints and then it messes up and you can't hit fire and so this is going to just make it so you can hit fire a little bit uh, easier then we also move around the map a little bit quicker therefore you're going to be able to get in more engagements overall it's going to boost up the mobility and the handling making this weapon feel like a paperclip and we do get more hit fire accuracy which is another reason why you have to run this way more one shot kills you move around the map quicker yes we're losing recoil control but that really doesn't matter with the shotgun unless you are trying to ads a lot which i do recommend to ads with the other builds but for full auto you don't need to ads just run around hit fire you guys are gonna see i think i got like four mgbs like this was the easiest video i've ever recorded in my life it is so easy so now from here for the last attachment kind of depends on what you want as you guys can see we cannot throw an ammo on i was gonna do a dragon's breath build but we can't use that we can't throw on a magazine you don't really need an optic i'm not running a laser in the gameplay but i'll show you why a laser could be good for you this is gonna be the flash 90 i believe that's the best one yeah so this one is gonna increase that sprint to fire speed so then you can pull up your gun after sprinting a little bit quicker which does come in clutch a lot uh another one that's good is the laser box basically whichever laser just improves the hit fire accuracy pretty sure it's the hook laser that's gonna be the best for that i don't think you really need it but you know if you're a fan of just having insane hip fire look at that hip fire that is insane 
I've said that word a million times, but if you want that, this is another very good attachment. Just keep in mind, you know, you do have the laser that the enemies can see when you are running around, but you know, it doesn't really matter when you have a full auto shotgun. So if you guys want to take a screenshot, there you guys go. But well, you guys can also run. I'm not running this in the gameplay, but another one that's pretty good is going to be the Molten Assault Grip. This can increase the sprint fire speed and the recoil control. This is more if you want to ADS. If you don't really care about ADSing and you just want to increase the sprint to fire, then I'd use that flashlight. This one gives you recoil control and sprint to fire speed. What I'm rocking in the gameplay though is going to be a under barrel and that under barrel is going to be the DR6 hand stop just so I can move around a little bit quicker. You got to be in the enemy's face and so I found myself doing the best with the DR6 hand stop as you guys can see for these pros. Really maximizes that mobility and the handling. Yes, we are losing a little bit of our tax stance spread and in a future video, I'm going to give you guys a build that has a very good tax stance because this thing is very OP when you use it like that. So this class will probably get your first MGB. For this MTZ class, I really like this one. This is uh, one that like I believe the pros used to run and my Discord notifications are going crazy. This is my second in the gameplay just in case I needed to use it at range, but you guys are going to see I never needed it. Like this was the easiest MGB I've ever gotten. Gunner vest so we can run the two scavenger gloves so we don't have to worry about ammo. Same with the munitions box. All this stuff doesn't really matter. So now let's get to the quadruple MGB gameplay. Bro, this thing... Wait, okay, it's so crazy. One thing that I accidentally do at times is like, where I'll just like hold down the trigger. You just want to spam the trigger and it does like a burst type thing. It's kind of like on the, the pistol, the core 45, you know, the aftermarket part. It's basically like that where you just want to spam the trigger and then it goes into full auto. Yo, this shotgun really wasn't that good. And I see why it wasn't really that good. I believe they like made it not that good. So that when you throw on this part, then it's really good because this thing absolutely disgusting. And I feel like a disgusting player with it. Like, I just feel like, oh, I'm, I really am. I'm using a shotgun and took my teammate's execution away. It wasn't on purpose though. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, imagine this thing on Stash House. That's what I wanted to do, but they don't have a playlist for that right now. Oh no, I think they still have the small map playlist. So for maybe gameplay number two, I'll go into there and do that. Let's see if I can get this MGB. That was, um, looks like I got walls right there. I want them to start capturing some flags. Remember, really not that much range though. But we got full auto and we have like 100 rounds. Like what the f***? Like when I saw that they added this, I was so happy and so mad. Okay, let's do this helo. It's a little bit annoying to unlock too. I thought I could like unlock in like 40 minutes. Nah, it took me like an hour and a half. Okay, I'm gonna let them capture C so then the game doesn't end so quick. No, a helo, what are we doing? Let them capture the flags. The game's gonna be over. They can't even breathe. Someone get them the inhaler. Oh my god, now I'm gonna EMP them. That's not gonna make things any better for them. <laughs> Imagine beating these enemies right now. Let me know in the comments though, what is your favorite shotgun in the game? For me, probably the Haymaker with this thing, because it's like full auto. Bryzen feels more like a shotgun in a way of like, just like, you know, the... <laughs> That's the worst sound effect I've ever done in my life. Oh, and then my secondary is this MTZ. I was just gonna, you know, only use the shotgun, but I was like, sometimes you need to get some ranged skills, and the MTZ just got a buff, so I will probably make a video on this setup pretty soon. It's pretty nasty, and what's also nasty, we're on a 19 kill streak right now. What's also nasty, so you probably haven't hit the like button yet. What the fuck are you doing? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button with the noties on if you want to get notified whenever I upload the best builds. Oh, actually, scratch everything else I was talking about for you guys to leave in the comments. Even though nobody really ever leaves anything in the comments when I when I ask a question. Um, this one, please, you gotta let me know. Are you gonna be playing Rebirth Island when it comes out? Because Rebirth Island is very similar to multiplayer for like everything, so... Oh my god, oh my god, I thought that guy was AFK or something. I am trapped. And he is dead. Are you gonna be playing Rebirth Island when it drops? Because I kind of want to do like class of videos for that because it's basically the same as multiplayer. You know what I mean? Like I don't really do Warzone ones or like Vondo ones because I feel like it's kind of the same. Even though you can use all these builds in there. It's just overall like, okay. Basically, I don't enjoy playing on the Resurgence maps that are in the game right now. But Rebirth Island? Yo, that thing feels like a multiplayer map. Like that map is actually pretty tiny. Okay, we are one kill off this nuke. Oh, I forgot that you have to like spam the trigger, not just hold it down because it feels like full auto. So you like, you think you're just going to hold it down, but not. you got to like spam the trigger, but then it like does extra shots for you. It's super weird. There's the MGV though. Let's fucking go. Basically though, let me know 
if you're going to be playing Rebirth Island a lot, because I want to do Rebirth Island gameplays and class setups, and I don't think it will really affect the channel because it's the same stuff, you know? And, like, that would be super fun. Like, I enjoy multiplayer, but Rebirth Island was so fun, so I'd love to be... Like, my dream would be to... Not my dream, but... It would be fun to be a creator on Rebirth Island and multiplayer at the same time. So let me know. Let me... Actually, let me know. Please. I need some help on this. Okay. Come on, come on. There we, okay, that guy's gone. I'm going to look for Stash House after this and see how crazy, how wild of a gameplay that we can get. This thing is absolutely insane. Oh my god. It's like difficult to die with this thing. Bro, if I got those two guys, that would have been bad. Code Seabass 20% off. Bop! Okay, 140 to 27. We are absolutely flipping these dudes inside out. Come on, enemies. You got to do something for me. Do something. Make this game last a little bit longer. I'm having a great time grinding the meat. That sounds crazy. Sorry, mom, if you're watching. Oh, yo. Okay, I don't mean to plug. Very good video. I forgot I was using the Tim the Tapman skin. I was like, why do I hear Tim? That's so wild, dude. That would, that'd be insane having your own skin in a game. So, what I was going to say is oh my mcw video if you like rank playing you're trying to get a lot better watch my mcw video i basically watch dashy play and i just kind of explain what he's doing and people really enjoy those videos i feel lazy doing them but people really enjoy those and people like seem to learn a lot so if you're trying to get better ranked i would definitely watch that one tim shut up breathe Stop speaking. No, he literally just... Whoa, Jesus. I edged to my mom is a wild ass name. There's no way that guy was like, huh, what do I change my COD name to? I edged to my mom. That's it. That's the name I'm going to sit with for six months. What the fuck? Yeah, actually, that's probably his first name. He's probably just sitting with that for years. And the overall range is actually pretty good. Oh, I'm so, Oh, God, I don't even know what to say. And we still have 17 shots after all that. All Dig in. <laughs> this shit's so funny. Yo, if this video does well, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos with this haymaker. A lot of videos. There's a couple other classes I probably went over. Basically, I think this is the best one. Kind of depends on whatever you're playing. Like, if you want to do lots of tax, like, like tax sprinting like that. You know, there's other builds for that. But for me, I just think it's better just to run around and just hit fire. You don't even ADS, just jump and just hit fire everything. There we go, boys. MGP with the brand new shotgun. Let's fucking go. Yo, I am so sorry. 79 and 5 is pretty crazy. Yo, that green is green. Oh, my days. Okay, let's go crazy right now. Bop, bop, bop. Wait, we got stash house. Domination. Oh, I'm a happy man. I'm a happy, happy man. Bada beam, bada boom. You all dead. I got the full auto shotgun. Do imagine this thing with like fire breath. I I don't think <laughs> I don't think you can add ammo types to this thing. Uh, if you can, that will be a future video. No. Yes. Let's go. I wonder if for those voice comms, they had him, like, go behind the, like, the microphone thing and, like, tell him lines to say. <laughs> so, the only thing that really messes you up with shotguns is, like, the sprint to fire speed. Basically, well, like, when you're running around the place and you see someone you gotta fire, you gotta, like, you know, your, your guy has to stop from running to fire. And that can kind of mess you up at times. Okay, these guys are all sitting back. I don't blame them. They're all getting absolutely fucking world star. That's when I bust out the MTZ. Bro, I keep wanting to hold it down. <laughs> Yo, my next video is going to be the HRM, and then I think it's going to be MTZ. Damn it. I ran out of damage range. I feel like there's too many things going on right now. I'm just looking on the radar. There's just red arrows everywhere. I'm in the middle. I'm on the left. I'm so sorry. I've... Uh, you know what? 
I just feel like a big bully. I feel like a horrible person. Why is this in the game? What the fuck? I know MTZ would make it easier, but I gotta show them the full auto shotgun. Let's EMP them. Now I feel really bad. They're EMP'd. There's a guy with the sniper. Never mind, he's ashes. MGB, yo, okay, this was actually the easiest video I've ever recorded in my entire life. Yo, honestly, if you don't have an MGB yet, you might want to use this thing. You use this exact class. Secondary doesn't matter. You can do MTZ, snipers, whatever you want, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Maybe BP50 for the no recoil. Oh my god, oh my god. Attack Eradicator. I built this Attack Eradicator class. Fucking. Oh no! No! I gotta reload! Teammates, kill him! Why am I still alive? Teammates, shoot him! What the fuck? What is going on in my teammate's head? Absolutely nothing. We got the Patrick brain. Okay, let's go for a double nuke. We got that nuke so fast, we can get that double one easy. What do you mean you still got it? We've always had it. I thought he was AFK. Yeah, dude, fire breath on this. <laughs> this video is so enjoyable to record. Holy shit. Like, sometimes I, like, the gun I'm making a video and I, like, don't enjoy recording. Like, the longbow one. The longbow video, I fucking hated recording that one just because I like the gun with the faster fire rate. I can aim high to where I never get hit markers with the longbow anyways. And so I didn't really need the aftermarket parts. And I was trying to get, like, crazy feeds. But the fire rate was so slow, I couldn't do anything. This one. <laughs> it's just a fast ass fire rate. It's running around. World star and everyone. Bro, honestly, this would be a good YouTube show. I might make, make one of these. We got the advanced UAV now. I have no words. Absolutely no words. I am starstruck. Shut the fuck up, Tim! Oh, I can fire. Oh my god, they're getting spawn trapped now? Quad feed? I'm surprised they haven't uninstalled yet. The second I get shotgun, I just back out. Like, props to these guys for staying in the lobby. That's another MGB. Back to back MGBs in one game. Can I get four MGBs in one game? Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, okay. No, teammates! Don't capture the flags! I need to get more MGBs. I need more kills. I need the game to last longer. This is the most OP gun in the game. And I think they just nerfed it too. Why is this in Call of Duty? I had to give you guys a moment of silence for this gun. <laughs> I don't even need to commentate. This thing is just going so crazy, it just commentates for me. Actually, no, basically, Tim is commentating because motherfucker will not shut up. They didn't leave the game. Like, these guys are troopers. Oh 
I am friendly. Yeah, what he said. We're just gonna EMP them. We're just gonna call on our streaks. And then I'm gonna call on the MGB. Wait, we gotta kill this guy real quick. I'm gonna call on the MGB for the quadruple whammy. <laughs> yeah, if you want an MGB, just use this gun. You don't even need to have my build. Throw on anything, just use this gun. Yo, I am so sorry. Hate the game, not the player. 